we begin by creating a new LSS survey. In the test data folder you will find a folder called example DXF data within which is a DXF file. We select input, convert from, AutoCAD DXF and either browse for the DXF file or drag and drop from a file browser. As usual we don't need to hit next for the LSS load file because it will create a load file of the same name as the currently open survey with the next available load file number. Also in this exercise we won't be using a conversion file. During the conversion it's possible to create a report file detailing the contents of the DXF file. Also for the conversion to pause at each warning and we can also limit the area of conversion to restricted geographical coordinates. If the DXF file contains 3D and 2D data we can include either or 3D and 2D data. If in the CAD system which produced the DXF file certain layers were turned on or off then we can control whether we import those turned off layers here. There are a variety of other options here which I won't go into the detail of except if the DXF contains triangles then we can automatically get LSS to convert those to dummy links. Dummy links are used to create break lines in the DTM and they're a useful feature to define triangles. We select next. This next screen summarizes the extents of the DXF file. These values will give us some indication of the units that were used. For example, if we're expecting coordinates of, for example, three pre-decimal places and we get six pre-decimal places, then the chances are that the DXF file itself is in millimeters and not in meters, in which case we can change the multiplier values both for coordinates and also for level. If the maximum minimum coordinates indicate that the level range is 0 to 0, then that would indicate to us that the data is 2D and not 3D. And we'll cover how you can convert textual numeric values to be 3D later on in this tutorial. If we find DXF levels of a specific value, which in this case is 0, then we can convert that to 2D. At this point we realize that the structure of a DXF file is fundamentally different to how LSS processes data. For example, in a DXF file you are likely to have different objects split into separate layers and within each layer each object will have a DXF name. Usually lines in AutoCAD or other generic CAD systems are defined by the layer they sit in, the name of them and also the line style and usually for a solid line that will be defined as continuous. The only hint that we get as to what this feature might be will be its layer name and possibly its DXF name. For example, this is an item of text. We may wish to exclude the whole layer if we don't want to import the text. We've got a stations table. Again, I'm going to exclude that layer. And now we get into the detail. We have a layer name, curb underscore C, and a DXF name of KC. LSS has recognized the DXF name and placed that into the LSS 
link feature code field. Now that is a valid LSS feature code, it just happens not to be in my current legend. So I can either change it to one that is in the legend or just leave it and then teach it later on. For example CS which is change surface and we can continue on and we'll be prompted for every feature code that is in the DXF file. If we're confident that all of the DXF names mean something in terms of LSS then we can say no more feature code conversion requests and it will just convert the file automatically. What you will normally see is something like a DXF name of continuous. It's possible to convert that into feature codes CONT because of course we have a four character limit on each feature code but you may wish to intercept those feature codes and read the layer name which might give you some indication of what continuous ought to be. For example in a layer name banks you get a DXF name continuous you might want to make that BB for bottom of bank for example. We're just going to let this conversion run through and at the end of the conversion we are prompted to save that feature code conversion set of questions for next time which means that if we're going to process the same sort of data from the same source we can save that conversion file away for next time. So let's call this demo. I'm going to leave it in the survey CNV folder. In addition to the feature code conversions we can also save any attribute information, multiplier values, etc. Well if this is going to be just a generic conversion file that's just going to convert layer names and codes into LSS feature codes then we won't save the text and attribute information. This report tells us what it's found in that DXF file and as long as there are no red comments there which are errors then we can continue to convert that data. Let's save and load the load file. Let's not do any further feature code conversions and there's the conversion. Now if we query some of this data you will see that some of it is 2D. So that will be points that have a level of 0. We can turn off that non-terrain detail and we're now only left with the 3D data. Anything which is white is a feature that is not recognized. For example if I go to here that is CN which is called low created now would suggest that that's probably a contour and if we query observation then that is a point feature now you probably wouldn't want to keep all of these as, as load created what we can do convert our mass for example the PZs into none that's got rid of most of them and for link features we might want to convert CN into dummy links for example. Okay well that's the conversion of a DXF file. We'll return to that command and just cover a couple of the further options. For example if you now wanted to convert the same sort of data file but didn't want to be prompted for the feature code conversion then you could select the feature code conversion that we saved away from last time and if we open that up you will see that that file contains the fact that we're going to exclude two named layers and we're going to convert from layer curb C the feature code KC or the DXF name into feature code K and from the layer change surface DXF name CS we're going to convert to CS. One further use for the CMV file is to read textual entries which are numbers and allocate the point of insertion of that number to a 3D point. And this CMV file contains that command to perform that conversion. The line 
text out followed by two commas then the word levels will read a numeric item of text in the DXF file find out where that text is inserted and then insert a point inside the LSS survey with the elevation value of that item of text. This is a good way of converting 2D data that has spot levels within it although please don't rely 100% on this conversion because if the CAD operative had moved that item of text and it was now not inserted where the level should be then of course LSS is going to create the point at the new position of that text.